Welcome. If you saw my video on the tankless hot water heater, you know that I saw the end of it with the elements, and this is one of the actual elements that came out of it after either five or ten years. I took uh, one of the elements and cleaned it up pretty heavily with uh, a rotary wire brush on my grinder, and most of the material came off. And then I did the same to the other, so they both look just about like this one, with one notable exception. The uh, other element I dipped in vinegar, left it for about an hour, and you can clearly see the difference between the two. So the vinegar did do a good quick job on taking it off and giving me my bronze or brass back. The full cleaning rig looks something like this. Basically, we have a piece of one and a quarter inch PVC pipe with a male MPT and a screw on cap. Uh, set up vertically with the element put down in it in a vertical manner and then filled with vinegar. And then checking about every hour to see how it's doing. The reason you probably want to do this is after several years, depending on the hardness of your water, the elements will tend to become filed as they getting more and more of a buildup on them, of course, they will have a greater trouble transferring heat. The other thing is, of course, that material will start to flake off after a period of time and will wind up in your shower heads and strainers and your sinks and every place else you don't want it. So probably every five years or so, regardless of the type of water heater you have, you'd want to flush and drain a tank water heater and then clean the elements in this manner. Or if you have a tankless water heater, you want to pull the elements out and take the material off of them. If you don't have a desktop grinder that you could mount that wheel on, you probably do the same thing by chucking these elements into a vise and then standing them up vertically and then using a power drill and a wire brush wheel similar to these two and knock the material off that way. Either one would give you satisfactory results. I would definitely not recommend just holding the, the element in your hands and using a wire brush on it. That could be very, very dangerous. What I'm going to be doing next is taking this unit and standing it up vertically, filling it full of vinegar, and I'll show you what the element looks like when I take it back out just a little later in the video. As always, when working with any power tool, don't forget the face shield. Wire brushes do throw quills, and you definitely don't want to have one of those in your face or worse, in your eye. What I'm using to clean these is white vinegar. Uh, this particular bottle came from uh, Walmart, but it's available at most grocery stores. You might be able to pick it up at a Costco or a similar store. I suppose your next question would be, well, how do I know that uh, the element soaking actually works? The answer would be, look at the used vinegar. It's now blue, indicating that the vinegar has turned into calcium acetate. Calcium acetate is water soluble. You'll want to soak them overnight in vinegar. The next morning, remove the element from the vinegar and immediately go over to the rotary wire brush. The vinegar soaks into the calcium and makes it soft. If you use this method, only two or three soakings will be required to remove most of the calcium. Note that I'm not using heavy pressure on the element. I'm just holding it against the brush and letting the wire wheel do the work. And here's what the finally cleaned element looks like when you're done. Using this method, you should be able to extend the useful life of the electric elements in your water heater. Hope this helps you out. Check me out on a future video. Have a great day.